What's up guys? It is April 6, 2018. I'm back in Luang Prabang since yesterday. And the second day that I was in Lung Nong Kya, I just decided to have a chill day. It was raining quite a bit, so it was one of those days. Yesterday also I just got it back here, just chilled a bit. Uh, went out at night, so it was my last night to go out in Laos. And today I'm heading out of the Laos and heading back to Thailand. I'm taking a bus to Chiang Mai, which is gonna take like 24 hours. So I'm a little bit worried about how that's gonna go. I've done buses that long in South America, but this is Southeast Asia, so I'm not sure what to expect. We'll find out. What's up guys, quick update. We just got to the bus station on the border uh, and the buses were really crammed. It's like a small sleeping space with flat. We have to share it with someone else as I did for the first six hours until more spaces opened up, people were dropped off. And yeah, and now we're waiting here for a bus to take us to the border, I think, for a tuk-tuk. And then we have to go through immigration and then get to, I believe, another bus station and then continue the rest of the journey to Chiang Mai. So we're about halfway through, I think. Okay, so I just arrived in Chiang Mai. It is a little bit past 4 p.m. on April 7th, so the total journey was about 21 hours. I'm so tired, I'm ready to take a nap, so I'm just gonna walk to my hostel. It's about a mile away from where they dropped us off. So I'm walking there now, and yeah, and then it's time to sleep. So I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, it's night time. I'm with a group from the hostel, and we're actually going to Ladyboy Cabaret. So let's see how that is. Here's the group. What's up, guys? You guys ready for this cabaret? Yeah! yeah Sweet. Can't wait. <laughs> What's up guys, it's April 8th now. Shout out to my brother, it's his birthday today, he's turning 20, the big 2-0. And yeah, so that Ladyboy Cabaret yesterday was pretty interesting. Pretty entertaining actually. And a good group from the hostel came out, so yeah, it was something good to have on the vlog. Today has been all about catching up on work, which I'm super, super behind on. I'm like two months behind on my vlogs right now. So today I finished editing a vlog, and it's all ready to go to upload, so I'm gonna get some lunch right now. It's really cool to be back here in Chiang Mai. Really like this city. I could see myself living here. And a lot of digital nomads do live here. It's a really cool city. Much more chill than Bangkok. What's up guys, it is nighttime now. I've managed to finish a vlog, upload it, and I also had the chance to go to a gym, which I really needed. It's been a long time since I've been to one. So I was happy to get to do that. And now, since it's Sunday night, I'm gonna go to the famous Sunday night market here in Chiang Mai, which I already showed in one of my vlogs previously, a few months ago. And yeah, I'm just gonna get some dinner there. And I'll probably go back to the hostel. Maybe I'll go out. We'll see. Looking for some cow soy. So far I've tried two little food courts, but no luck so far. I'm gonna find it before they close.
What's up guys? It is April 9th now. It's already night time and I'm actually in the town of Pai which I was at before. It's a lovely little town so I promised myself that I'd have to come back and I'm here and last night by the way it was really fun. Finally got to experience some nightlife in Chiang Mai which I hadn't done that before so that was cool. And yeah, I'm gonna be here in, Ch in Pai for three days because it's just really cool and relaxing and it's beautiful around here so I'm probably gonna check out a few things I haven't seen before and visit a couple things I've already seen because they're really nice. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna go into the center of town and get some food. What's up guys, it is now April 10th. We're here in Pai and we've just rented some scooters so we're gonna do a bit of exploring. Last time I was here I didn't rent a scooter so I look forward to just find out new spots to check out and go to some other cool spots that we went to before. So we just arrived at our first stop, the Mo Pang waterfall, which I visited last time but it's a hot day and the water is nice and cool, so looking forward to getting in that water. It's so dry compared to last time. It's crazy. Like the water looks so dirty because it's barely flowing. Yeah, it's a lot drier this season. All right, although the waterfall was nothing like it was last time, at least the water was refreshing. It was better than it looked. And now we're at the hot springs and more water here, so. Looking forward to this one. Okay, I'm here with Marlene and Yara from the Netherlands. Are you guys excited for the hot springs? Yeah, super excited. All right, let's do this. Okay, we just got to our next stop, which is the Big Buddha. Basically a big white Buddha. And we have to go up a bunch of steps. And yeah, so this is, I haven't done this before, so that'll be something new. Pretty cool and nice views of the, of the valley despite the fact that it's a bit hazy. Okay, we're at our next stop and it's actually another white Buddha. A much smaller one and not on a hill, but I think it has a temple next to it. So let's check it out. Okay, now we're off to our next stop by a canyon to watch the sunset. some great views. I hadn't seen those before. Now we're just gonna find a good spot to enjoy the sunset. It was a nice sunset but not the best I've captured in a time lapse because that was a bit too hazy. But it was nice. Now we're gonna leave and head back to Pai. Finally some cow soy in Thailand again. And the girls are trying it for the first time as well. What do you guys think? So nice. Awesome. <laughs> 